lunchtime and we just swam on a gorgeous coral reef here between Cancun, Mexico and Isla Mujeres, Mexico. There was a gorgeous, gorgeous structure reef. There was coral everywhere, lots of blue tanks, yellowtail snapper. We saw a southern stingray. Josh saw a permit. It was great. Now we're off to the mangroves and uh, that's that. Let's do our thing. Cole, are you ready? Mangrove time. This has been an awesome swim through the mangroves. And the reason that these mangroves are such an important part of the marine ecosystem is that they provide natural filtration for all of this water coming in and out of here. But it's also super important because of the baby animals that call this area home. As we've been slipping back further into the mangroves, I'm seeing a lot more life. And I'm super stoked right now because we just stumbled on a bunch of baby yellow stingray pups that are using this area as a safe haven. So check it out. We're gonna keep exploring these mangroves and uh, hopefully we keep finding more baby stuff and having a blast out here doing it. Day two here on Isla Mujeres. It was way too rough yesterday to get out to the whale sharks and the manta rays, but we checked out the coral reef ecosystem. We checked out the mangrove ecosystem. And today it's laid down just enough to where we're getting out there. So here we go. We're heading 18 to 20 miles north off of the Yucatan Peninsula, and we are looking for the largest fish in the ocean and the majestic manta rays. So stay tuned. It's going to be an adventure getting out there. Hey, all right, me amigo Fred, we're out here at the whale sharks. This is day one for us. Our other group got a start yesterday. We're currently looking around. It's a little bit choppy and there's sargassum and there's not as much plankton. So the conditions are not ideal for whale sharks, but we're gonna find them. We're gonna find manta rays and we're gonna make this day work. Stay tuned. Let's see what we see. Unfortunately, we are dealing with the same conditions out here. Hurricane Elsa passed just a couple days before we got here. And my feeling is that Hurricane Elsa drove all the nutrients out of the normal aggregating ground. So right here where we are, where the whale sharks normally are and where we've been searching, there's crystal clear blue water. And that is not a good thing when it comes to animals that are ram feeding and filter feeding on the plankton and tuna eggs that draws them to this area. So right now we're searching. Odds are the animals are low, and if they don't feel the need to come up for food, they're not going to. So we're hoping we can find some animals that are eating so we can jump in and have a swim. Check out what we're seeing.